Hey, J-Rod, it's Michaela. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I'm having a little get-together at my house before graduation tomorrow. Nothing fancy. I'm just going to play maybe a couple games of beer pong and drink a little bit. Nothing too much. Hey, Natalie, it's Michaela. I just wanted to see if you and your brother or your cousin maybe wanted to play a couple of games of beer pong before graduation tomorrow. We're not going to get too messed up because obviously graduation is that night, but, you know, you know where I live. Stop by. Okay, I live in front of J-Rod, but I don't know if you're with him or not. I'm having a little trip back at my house tomorrow before graduation. Hey, Angie, remember how you were talking about having a small kickback before graduation? Well, my mom said it was cool that we did it here, so, like, you should come over to my house and, like, see if Katie can come to it. Hey, Christina, it's me. I just wanted you to know that we are doing a kickback tomorrow before graduation, and you better be there. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Down with the shame, down with the shame. Used to walk traps in the rain with cocaine. Used to write raps in the traps as I sat in the rain and I prayed that God give me a lane, give me a lane, give me the fame, give me the fame and I promise to change. Won't be the same, won't be the same. Cause I hear that this shit could hurt baby's brain Heard he was normal till three and then, then he stopped talking Since then ain't nothing been the same up, Seen her some years later out in Decatur Told her that I'm sorry for causing her pain Causing me pain, causing me pain She asked again and she grabbed my right hand Asked him I'm crazy, said look okay, baby I release you from all of your sins and your shame So I need you to notice something like Things that do in the morning My mom needs me, can't go with my mom You know how my mom is Dude, my eyes are you shouldn't live it up. Boy, why would you? Come on. You should hear yourself. You sound like you're oh soft. I'm not trying to end up like that. Come on. Come on. Just one drink. No. It was holding you down. Can't pick up no crime. Can't pick up no crime. Do you go to parties a lot? Not really. No? It's not your thing or? Well, like, I do go out, but only when I'm at, like, a friend's house. But if I'm at home, I just, I'd rather stay home. Yeah. For me, you know, like, Netflix? More of a personal person. Yeah, okay. When I go to parties and stuff like this, you always get that one person that has to keep offering you drinks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I said no the first time. I understand. I seen. <laughs> I'm a little hungry. Yeah, um, and no. Damn, you knew you already know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Find your life as a currency, go out and trade it for blood. You are not you, you are now us. We are the only Dude, what's wrong with you? You're supposed to be trained that we're supposed to party together and it's just stupid. You can still have a good time without him here. I guess. I don't know. Don't let him get your time down. I don't know what to tell you. Just. No. You really can't do that. I can do whatever. No, seriously, J Rod, you can't drink and drive. It's perfectly fine. No, it's not. You've been drinking way too much. I'm not letting you leave. You're crazy. Dumb. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. No, no, I'm fine. No, you're not leaving. I'm perfectly fine, Kayla. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You're like I tripping mean, over your own feet. J Rod, no. You're it not leaving. You're not gonna leave. Leaving. No. Leaving. Stop. J Rod, Stop. please. That doesn't please. matter. I'm not gonna leave. Please. Get hurt. Shut up. Stop. Just please. J Rod, listen go. to me. Just let me Stop. go. No. J Rod, please. You can't. Go! Stop! J Rod, please! Yeah. You can't go! Yes, I'm I not am. letting you leave! Yes, I am! No, you're too drunk! Please. I'm trying to leave! Just I'm, stop! No, just please! Get, just move! Just stay the night! Just move! You can leave in the morning, please! No! no. Uh -uh. J Rod, come on! Stop! Stop! Nope. It doesn't matter, it's fine. It I'm perfectly matter. fine driving! No, you're not! Look yes, I am! I'm you're perfectly like fine! No, I'm not! You're yes, crazy! You, are. you, you sound dumb! You said I'm dumb. You're in the car driving drunk. Oh my god, I'm not even drunk. You're per. It's... I saw how much you drank, Jared. I'm not You're even drunk. drunk. You're crazy. So, are you ready? No, actually, I'm not. I'm nervous.
you and me both. This is, oh man, I'm not ready. Well, after this, we should try and go out another time. I'm down. Just be quiet. No, J Rod, turn around. No, we're go perfectly back. fine. Go back. No. Now. No. J Rod. No. Please. No. Oh my god. Why? Oh. Ah! One emergency, what are you reporting? Hello, there's, there's been a bad accident. Okay, where are you? I, I'm, I'm on Mariposa Road on, on across of Nielsen. You're on Mariposa across of Nielsen? Yeah. Okay, how many vehicles were involved? It, it looks like two. Two vehicles? Yeah. Does it look like anybody's injured? Um, there's, it looks like there's a, there's a guy on the ground who's not picking up everything in his
Ms. Nehera? I'm Dr. Flores. I'm not sure how much you know right now, but I'm gonna update you on what's been going on. There was an automobile accident involving some teenagers who had been drinking. Um, right now, first thing you need to know is that your daughter is alive. She's stable, but there are some pretty significant injuries I need to tell you about. The first and the worst of which uh, is paralysis. That, um, that she will not be able to have any movement from the neck down. Um, there have been times with therapy that um, some of these things can get possibly a little bit better, but um, I can't make you any promises at this point. Um, but what you do need to know is that your daughter is not at fault. The person driving her vehicle had not been drinking. Um, she's alive, she's stable, and so um, as far as pressing any charges or things like that, you'll have to talk to local law enforcement. But uh, for now, she's waking up from those operations. Would you like to go back and see her? Go ahead, come on, let's go, we can go and see her. Hey, W.D. Pennington. Hey, uh, yeah, this uh, guy, Campbell here, he's from uh, Phelan. He was a DUI felon, but I think his best friend's not dead. I killed my best friend Trey and paralyzed another girl. Hi, I'm Tanya Mosley from New Life Church. Are you Trey's grandmother? Yes. Hi, um, is there anyone home with you today? My brother is watching TV. Um, I'm sorry to have to tell you this. Um, Trey was in an automobile accident today involving a drunk driver. He was not drinking. However, he, he was killed in the accident. No! I'm so sorry to no! I'm here.
to remember, but also to celebrate the life of Trey Willie Cassie. I'd like to thank you for coming and being a part of this time, being with the family, with all his friends. Trey was born on December 28th, 1997 in Apple Valley, California. And his life was taken from him a few days ago as a young man. He will be missed by those who he has survived by. He loved them and they loved him very, very much. When a young man's life is taken like this, even though we may not say it, I know that we think it, but we begin to think, why? Why was his life cut short? How could something like this happen to a young man who was full of life, who, 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 who had so many plans for his life, who loved people and people loved him? I want to encourage you as young men and women to do all you can to, to rise above some of the, 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 the things that the world tells you you should be doing because it ends like this and people hurt. And I see it on your faces today, the pain of, of a good friend being lost. And I know for the parents, for the family, it's something that never goes away. And so I wanna encourage you, do the right thing every day every day do the right thing let's close in prayer father thank you lord for this time please use this for your glory any way you see fit in jesus name